Right, so it has been a while since we spoke about a new questionable family channel that we hadn't discussed in a video yet. And I mean, I get asked to cover family channels all the time, right? But it's usually the people that we've spoke about before, like the LeBrand family, Eight Passengers, the Prince family, so on, so on. But today we have a family channel that I wasn't aware of before I found out about this specific video that they uploaded. And as you can tell by the fact that I'm making this video, the video they uploaded is very bad. So the account we're talking about today is more of like a TikTok family account. They're called No Fake Love Lee. So it's like, I guess the family's called No Fake Love, but it's Lee who runs it. Yeah, bit of a mouthful. And even though I'm gonna have to blur this on screen because most of the videos have his children in like the thumbnails, it is kind of like your classic family page. He plays like pranks and whatnot. He like vlogs their life, I guess, but in like a TikTok way. I mean, they have 314,000 followers on TikTok. They also have a YouTube account that is nowhere near as big. I mean, yeah, their YouTube account only has two and a half thousand subscribers. I think that's probably because like they don't really edit that much. A lot of the videos are vertical as well. But yeah, they seem to mainly focus on TikTok. But I recently came across a video of theirs that was uploaded in the last couple of weeks and it's called me and jazz prank the kids must watch and now you're probably thinking how bad can this prank really be because it has to be bad right i'm making a video on it it's not going to be a fun little prank that we can all laugh at so what's going on here and it's probably going to sound like i'm over exaggerating or making it up when i explain what this prank is uh, i'm not the prank actually is the dad going to the kids and telling them that their mother is dead Yep, he makes the kids believe that their own mom has passed away and they all start crying and he keeps it going on for like five or so minutes before he tells them it's a prank. I don't understand it. I don't think I have to tell any of you how disgusting that is. It, it's absolutely grim. I feel like, you know, like you had an accident last night, like you was in the hospital. Like you ain't make it. You know what I'm saying? Because he get that reaction, all right? Yeah. Yeah, I, put your phone away. I mean, so the video starts off with them kind of like planning this epic prank where he is going to tell the kids that she had an accident and she went to hospital and she didn't make it. You know, the usual little pranks and jokes that you will use on little children would be like, got your nose, ha, I got, got your nose, and then they'll freak out for a second, realize the nose isn't gone and it's all fun and games. Yeah, that's a bit different to saying that your mother's died. Just a bit. Like, get up. Get up, man. Get up. Get up, get up. And he's waking up the kids to do this prank. The kids are fast asleep, probably have school in the morning, and this guy just thought, you know what, we don't have content for the day. Let's ruin their sleep and tell them the most devastating news you could possibly tell a child. It's a very lovely thing to do, isn't it? So, so lovely. Now I'm going to blur the kids when they pop up on screen. I'll explain kind of like the facial reactions, I guess, kind of like the emotions and stuff. But you'll get the gist from the audio, I assume. Something happened with your mama last night, bro. Hey, Jamal Jayden. Get up, bro. Something happened with your mama last night. Let me come talk to y'all, bro. Straight up, all right? Also, I would like to think that if the situation really did happen, the dad wouldn't go in there and be like, Oi, get your ass up. I need to tell you something about your mom. I need to tell you something about your mom. It would probably be a bit more compassionate than that, I would like to think. I don't want y'all to cry. I, I told her I got y'all. What happened? Huh? What happened? You remember that? Or the day I told y'all that y'all mama had, we was going to the doctor and stuff like that, right? And I told y'all her chest was hurting. And when we thought she had cancer and stuff. But don't cry, y'all. Y'all ain't hear the ambulance come last night? Oh, y'all, mama dead, bro. What the fuck? I mean, how are you just gonna say it like that? I mean, this prank is mad in itself, but the fact you just went, oh, yeah. She's dead, by the way. I'm actually lost for words. Like, how does this happen? How do you think this is a good idea before doing it? Do y'all want me to wake out a little when the ambulance came? Oh, I'm not dead. So where your mom is? Call my mom. Okay, so he's keeping it going now when they're asking. I told her I got y'all. Y'all gonna get ready. I'm gonna take y'all to school and everything. And when, when y'all get dressed, I'm gonna, before y'all go to school, I'm gonna take y'all to the hospital and let y'all see it in the bed. Like, I actually am struggling to understand how this could be entertaining to absolutely anybody. I would love to think this is fake, right? Best case scenario, it's fake. But even then, I don't get it. Even just insinuating that this would be a funny prank, even if they were kind of aware of it at first, which, like I said, I'm not sure if it's fake. I don't know if it's like a setup and he told them about it beforehand. I hope so. But even trying to make people think that this is like a funny prank to do, like posting on TikTok, where, let's be honest, um, you can get away with a bit more on there, you know? Like, audiences tend to be like, quite a bit younger and they can look at videos like this and be like, oh, that's a funny prank to play. Why not tell my friends that their fucking dad's died? Like, whatever way you look at it, this video is absolutely grim. She not I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. She not I apologize, bro. We're we going to be all right. I told, she, she told me to stay strong for y'all, bro. She told me to stay strong for y'all. She told me to stay strong for y'all. 
Don't cry, bro. Don't cry. It ain't gonna make it, it, gonna make it better, bro. Don't cry, bro. Hey, come on, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug, bro. I'm not going to school. Give me a hug. I got you, bro. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, the, the screen's blurred. Um, the kids have like started crying and whatnot. Yet again, hopefully it's fake. I would like to think it is. Because I get that this guy doesn't exactly think straight. I mean, that's very clear. But even then, I would still like to think that he wouldn't do this for real. Like, you'd hope so, right? Now, obviously, when this video went viral on TikTok specifically, people had a massive problem with it. They're all commenting saying, like, how could you do this? This isn't a prank. This is disgusting. You can't like, play pranks like that on children, it makes no sense. And it actually got to the point where people started contacting, like, the parents' place of work, specifically the mother, because she wears, like, her work's uniform a lot in videos. They knew where she worked, which I believe is actually, like, a children's hospital. And people actually rang her job and told them about the job, which actually resulted in her being fired. But before we do play the video, I do just want to say I obviously don't agree with anyone ringing up her work under any circumstances. That's a livelihood, you know. It's a way that she can pay for her family and whatnot. So I don't agree with that. But also, on top of that, you must have knew that some consequences are going to come from this, right? Uploading a video playing a prank on your young children that your mother has passed away, like, it's not exactly going to go down well. People calling, harassing me to talk to me while I'm busy working. It happened. It's something that y'all wanted to happen. It happened. I got fired today. Yes, I got fired from Texas Children. Yeah, so obviously a very shit situation. As I said before, I don't agree with bringing up her work and getting her fired and whatnot. But that's kind of how the internet works. And I'm really not surprised that it did happen. You can't be going around uploading fucking videos like this, especially when you wear your work's uniform all the time in videos. Like, people are going to do that. That's one thing you don't do. You take you take your personal problem with that person, bro. You don't try to call nobody and get nobody fired, bro. Messing with people lie little, bro. People got kids out here. So, yeah, you get the gist. They're obviously not happy that she's lost a job. And, I mean, I don't blame them. Like, I don't think anyone would be happy under them circumstances. But actually, two days after uploading this video talking about the job, Lee actually uploaded a video that was basically an apology video. I apologize for the video. You know what I'm saying? It, ain't, it wasn't nothing but a prank. I wouldn't think that y'all was gonna take it that serious if it was. Thought y'all will take it that serious. I would have never posted it. Yeah, I'll be honest, this video is 14 minutes long and he does kind of waffle a little bit in this, but he does apologize. He says sorry for what he did, which, uh, I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's better than obviously not apologizing. Uh, take that how you will. And judging by the comment section, people seem to be happy with this response. We've got comments here saying that's the way to go. Taking responsibility for his actions. We've got another one here saying accountability, much respect. If you don't know, it's one thing, but now you do, do better. And then we've got other comments talking about the prank itself. We've got one here saying, absolutely, my mum passed as a kid. It was truly traumatic. Please don't play with that kind of hurt with them kids. But yeah, for the most part, people seem to be on Lee's side here. I would love to know your opinions. Obviously, the original video, in my opinion, is disgusting. Hopefully that won't happen again. I highly doubt it's going to happen again since there has been quite a lot of consequences from that video being uploaded. And now he's apologised, so I would love to know where you kind of stand on it. Like, what's your thoughts? But either way, that's the video. If you did enjoy, please do a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. And until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, goodbye.